Hey everyone and thank you for coming to the channel once again Yes, thank you for coming over to the house spending time with me But we got to straighten out some things We got to just put some things in order I got to thinking about some things after I got home You know, trying to, you know, wind down from a week of working And I was contemplating on Miss Nene Leakes and how thirsty she has become out here on these streets. And I'm like, why is she doing all of this to herself? And see, that shade of hair, that made Nene stand out to me. And it make, made me see her as a black woman. And that style is not that bad on her. She still has that femininity, femininity fem, let's just say fem, feminine look. And it's not that bad. But it's, we all know. Uh, we should be truthful to ourselves when people wear blonde hair all the time They say blonde hair more fun. That was the old adage the old saying back in the day probably still relevant to this day however when women wore blonde it was like a signal or a path of, of, of rights that you wanted to be white you know, you they say blondes have more fun. You ain't really never seen a black person born with blonde hair, okay? It just is what it is. But somewhere along the line, when Nene got the call to be one of the first women to be graced on the Real Housewives of Atlanta as a reality show by True Entertainment, they were happy to have her. And she did a lot with the development of of storylines bringing people on uh, as cast members and this that and the third but Nene forgot one thing she's not white she's not Jewish and she's not gay white je I mean white Jewish or gay and I say that because Andy Cohen liked it Nene he found fun in her he found maybe somewhat of a friend I don't know but they used to be tight. And Andy loved himself some Miss Kim Zosiac. And that to me, I don't care what nobody say. Nene wants to be Kim. Maybe just her looks. Not her necessarily lifestyle. But her looks. Her demeanor. Her character. She wants to be white. And Kim is the one she has solidified. in propping out herself. Or mapping out herself. Just like Kim. Okay. You can believe it or you don't have to believe it. But in my eyes that seems to be a true statement and testimony. And Nene wanted to be a part of the Hollywood life. And I don't know what she did to try to get known very well, very quickly with the who's who. Um... But after she appeared a lot. Because reality shows really just came out in the last 10 years. Uh, maybe 12. And it's not scripted. It's not something that you have to actually read lines from. And be a part of. You just go in and you say whatever you got to say. How the wind blows. You just say what you got to say and you move on. Well Nene did this. And they liked it her. She was a new, fresh of breath air, I guess you can say. And shout out to uh, AT Alien. Uh, that's Nene's friend. And sometimes I think she need to check Nene and give reality, well, give Nene a reality check. But that's neither here nor there. She's a great blogger. Go over there and check her out. And she can be a bit biased. And, you know, hey, we all have our favorites. I haven't gotten a favorite yet because I try to keep it as kosher as possible. I like everybody. If I see something that I don't like, I speak about it. It don't make I don't I hate you or anything like that. But I just want you to do better since you have a spotlight. You have a platform. You should be doing better and you should be staying true to yourself and making money at the same damn time. Without sacrificing anything. But Nene wanted that Hollywood life. She wanted the flights out. Go global. Flying. International. Meeting different uh, people. Having that window seat. You know if she's not flying on her own personal jet. That they don't uh, lease for her. For a certain amount of time. 
she was a part of you know you see that little a little six that she trying to throw up i think she was being vetted and when i'm saying vetted i mean being researched out to just see what kind of person she would be i know y'all don't heard of the black boule if you're not google it do some research but you know she was up there trying to get on a show or really had got on the show called the new normal uh that show didn't last but a minute because i think they were trying to strike they were having like a writers actors actresses uh strike because they wanted better uh wages and more benefits to uh their craft and of course when you think of hollywood you think of industry people that go there that have talent they are actresses and they're actors or they may be musicians where their you know musical talents would take them you know a, 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 a great deal through navigating through the hollywood scene but as you can tell nini was around a lot of heavy hitters uh, I don't know what that lady's name was, but she's an actress. Been an actress for a very long time from that uh, previous slide I showed you. And that's Angela Bassett. And I'm tr those are two, um, I think they're writers or producers. But Nene's in the background. You see what I'm saying? Nene's appeared on several uh, syndicated type talk shows as well as um, being co-host for some of them. Hell, she was out there with Calvin Hart. And Cameron Hart, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? He has been in movies. He has had his own sitcom. And, you know, Nene's flossing around with other housewives and, and basketball wives. You know, the reality shows. She's been on uh, Charlemagne the God um, radio station that he heads up. She's done graced many covers of magazines because she was fresh out there. She had something that they thought would take them to that next level they saw her as the it girl she was on dancing with the stars and little did she know they were vetting her they were just seeing could she keep her mouth closed if she's if she's shown certain things would she be able to keep her mouth closed um and it, it yeah i guess they found out no so from the streets of hollywood they took her flew her out she was down there uh, mingling with Steve Harvey and we know he's something else okay that's another video for another day because he don't even like people looking at him you got to make appointments you could be you know a, a cast member of his or you know working in his uh on his podcast or radio station he hosts they, they can't even they have to make appointments to see him they can't say well let's go get lunch or whatever that's some bullshit but hey, he's done his time. He's done his sacrificial stuff. You know, it just is what it is when you go to Hollywood. And you see her throwing up them devil sign, horn signs. I'm just saying, people. Get your conspiracy mind sometimes. Think You can't think all the time like they want you to think. But like I said, Nene thinks she's an actress. That's an actress. Monique is an actress. Okay? She's a comedian. She has a large caliber of work. That can take her to be someone true. To be a part of the Hollywood life. Just for her talents. Nene. Don't have any talent. She has the ability. Of wanting to. Be in the circle. But she don't want to do the hard work. For her to demand. Such types of income. That she wants. Like I said she got the big head. Somebody told her something. And she went with it. And she thought, hey, she was going to Hollywood. Straight from Atlanta. That's another heavy hitter, too. I don't know her name. But she's been in the acting world a while as well. And again, that's Angela Bassett in the background now. You know, Angela have definitely did her share of acting on a large stage. Plays. Um, horror shows. She, she's just done it all. Now, wouldn't you have thought she would have studied? acting with angela bassett she know of her she knew her she's at some party and then he want us to believe that guy naomi is down for her he and you could see the pitch that was just shown he's more into um what is her name oh my god is it gabrielle uh no it's not gabrielle but she used to be called fancy on the james fox show and even she is an actress 
You see where I'm going with this? Nene couldn't keep her mouth shut about something. And that's why they threw her ass back from Hollywood. Threw her back to Atlanta. Because what did she have? I mean, again, you see how the body language of Naomi. How he's going closer to the left than he is to Nene's right. Again, do you see him? Uh, what's her name? God, God Garcella. Garcella. Uh, she's an actress. Even Adrian was an actress in Cheetah Girls. You know, she's and she was a singer as well. So she's used to the industry. Um, you might not like her. You may love her, but she made her career, Wendy Williams, out of talking about celebrities. She put in her work. So she. Probably did some strange things for some change to be a part of the who's who as well. Okay. And Nene was gracious enough to get hosting jobs. I think his name is AJ. And like I said, she was a part of the Glee thing for a while. And then that went belly up as well. Because I think it was like a screen guild or some type of boycotting they was doing. Uh, back around that time. And it never faced itself to resolve itself in an amicable way and I guess all of Nini's uh, thought out sought out plans of becoming an actress just blew up and from Hollywood accepted her they threw her back to the streets of Atlanta but see what Nini fails to understand is she had an opportunity because when she was getting all these sort of acting gigs she was looking for an actor co uh, acting coach and she had to call herself finding one and she's supposed to be working with them i don't think nene worked with them folks she thought she could just ab lib everything when i mean ab lib i'm talking about you go at your own will at your uh you don't necessarily have a script it's all it basically is reality tv they don't give you a script to read and memorize and you say the lines on point when you're, it's time for your scene. Nene is trying to demand that type of money. But Nene is not an actress. But in her mind, she thinks she's an actress. And I'm like, Nene, you're on a reality show. Y'all don't have no scripts, no books to read from. And you make a scene become reality like y'all in the play play world. That's when you do get money. The people you see when you go to the movies, they have to remember their lines. They have to do, um, what you call it, stunts sometimes, depending on what character they're playing. These are real actresses and actors that have paved the way, went to school, learned their craft, honed in on their crafts, where they can have a scene where they can make you cry. If that's the scene or the... Um, the image they want to portray on that particular scene. You don't make nobody cry. And half the time you don't make nobody laugh. Unless you're cussing somebody out. So that's where your lane is. Is reality TV. Because it has no formation. Everything is pretty much on the spot. Unless they're telling you. They want you to talk about a certain thing. And then you have to present it how you want it wanting to present it but it has to be what they wanted you to bring out or whatever you're going to say is going to come out your mouth okay it has to fit that plot they're trying to put in now because when they first came on the scene with this reality mess it wasn't scripted but then it was like okay the producers probably felt well we, we got to have some type of setting or a plot or what we want and then they just go after it and however they're going to get to the point of what we need them to show on screen so other little things materialize that way but that's what's wrong with nene she won't admit it to herself but they don't want nene because she's not an actress and they probably don't want her in the hollywood scenes with the you know the clicks and the movers and shakers because she don't know how to keep her mouth shut look how she did bravo Look how she wanted to boycott. She wanted to spill secrets. And anybody know. It's like say for instance. Kentucky Fried Chicken. You don't know what type of ingredients. They put in their seasoning. Because they don't let you know. The only person that knows. Is the person that um, founded the company. And, and the recipes they wrote down on paper. Uh, 
and followed it to the letter and made nobody know the secret but them, maybe one or two people. And you just got the ingredients to put in there, but it was just like normal ingredients, but you don't know what came in that seasoning pack because the only thing it said was seasoning on it. And you just flour, you know, use the regular flour, you put the seasoning in it, um, and you go, go from there. Because I used to work for Kentucky Fried Chicken. Nothing was uh, labeled or uh, having the ingredients and what was in that uh, container we did to season the chicken with. It just said seasoned chicken. That's it. <laughs> or season for chicken. And of course, you know, they had their own ways of making biscuits, you know, buttermilk, um, lard or whatever to uh, make it mince together. And you bake it from there. And then the coleslaw, they had their little, um, the coleslaw, of course, you make them through the little cutter and stuff. And the mixing of what was in that coleslaw dressing, you didn't know because it was just said dressing for coleslaw. You didn't know the ingredients. You didn't know any of that. But like I said, I said that to say this. Nene got, she screwed her own self. She didn't understand what you have to do to stay in Hollywood. And how you have to keep your mouth closed on certain things. Even if it's not going your way. You still have to play your role. And they tested Nene. Nene failed miserably. So from the streets she came from, the streets they were turning her back to. And it's sad, but Nene needs to rethink herself. Um, if you want to still be in Hollywood, I don't know. Take the acting classes. Do the work. Do the foundation. Start there. And maybe somebody will throw you some work here or there and put you in movies. And put you in plays and stuff like that. But you got to do the work. See, you thought because you were getting a part of... The who's who crowd, they were just going to let you slide in and slide around and that you weren't going to have to do something. <laughs> you got food in your baby girl. Because all these people that could rally around you, especially Angela Bassett, you know she got connections. And she ain't even looking out for you, Nene. You thought you were a part of these people's clicks. The only thing you did was got an inside preview and they were vetting you along the way to see how much you would take in, how much it would disturb you of what you did see, and could you keep a secret? Okay? And evidently you felt miserably because you're back in a sense in the same position you were prior to going to Real Housewives of Atlanta and it's op it was opening up different areas for you to grow in, to produce, to brand your own self and get you into certain circles that you wanted to be a part of. Now look at you. You sitting up here on your social media platform talking about they don't cheat at you, they don't stole and lie from you, they don't bo uh they boycotting you, they blackmailing you, they blackballing you. Well, what did you do in that scenario to have gotten you there? Did you not call Andy a racist? Did you not put out Andy's business about what you had did financially for him? That he could have really did by himself. Okay, and you stole some of the language from the gay community. Your little one hit wonders bloop and, and all that or, or girl by and all this stuff. Where are they? Why are they not rallying around you? So it must not be them. It must be you. But I got thinking about that. Thing. I said, well, damn, why she can't make it out here? And I'm like, because she ain't no actress. She knows nothing about acting. She knows nothing about reading a script, taking that script, reciting it out when it's time for her to have her scene, and she does it well. She has no talent for them. They don't need her. You know how many people that can go on reality shows and that could just do naturally what they do on an everyday basis and get followers and get people in their corner? You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Okay. But yeah, Nene wanted to skate through, but she lost her very much so needed ally. Okay. Because she got the big head. So that's why I really think Nene don't have a chance in Hollywood no more. 
Because they damn sure ain't trying to let her do no type of reality shows anymore. Unless Carlos King come around somewhere. And she's not under a contract still with Bravo. Where she has to have that non-competing clause. I mean, I heard from somebody they said that um, she might be faring where it's coming to an end. And she may be able to do stuff. But I'm like, legally, who going to want to work with you, girl? Who gonna wanna work with you? Who's gonna wanna sign a paycheck with you on payroll and say they wanna hire you and they're gonna give you a hundred thousand to start out with? You might turn your lip up, turn your ass up, turn your cheek up and say, No, I'm worth more than that. But are you really worth more than that, Nene? Are you really worth more than that? Because you can't read lines, you can't run lines, you can't recite, remember lines. For them to put you in a movie. For them to put you in a play. For hell. For them to put you on Netflix. Or on. You you were rubbing heads with Lee Kevin Hart. Don't you think he has to learn his lines. For movies. Don't you think he has to learn his lines. For the skits that he do. When he's up there trying to make people laugh. Don't, it's called a memory game. And for some reason. Ten years ago. You didn't learn it. And you still ain't learned it now. You think that being on a reality show is supposed to pay you millions and millions of dollars. No, you lucked up. Or I should say you were blessed to get into that realm to make that kind of money. But you should have been stacking your money. And if it's something you wanted to continue to be in and you wanted to make just as much as the other actresses and actors are making out there, you got to do the work. You got to go to school. You got to learn how, you know, how to make people laugh, how to make people cry, how to make them feel indifferent, how to make them feel angry through scenes, okay? And you have to study that type of art. Some people don't have it naturally like that. You know, people say I'm funny and stuff, and I don't be trying to be. I just be speaking my mind. But do I have the talent? To go out there and, and read a script or whatever. Yes, but will my mind help me remember all of it? I don't think so. Because <laughs> believe it or not, I've accepted myself. And I've accepted forgetting stuff. You know, and trying to remember what I did yesterday. Or what I needed to do today. It, You know, that's far from me now. But that's something I never wanted to do anyway. But when you want it to be in this realm of life and making your money around these A-list celebrities and, and uh, these, see these two girls, they, they know, they act, okay? All those people up there, they act. They have to learn lines. But you're the only one was probably struggling. I don't know how many takes they probably had to take with you because you were forgetting certain key things you needed to do to make that scene come alive. But you just want people to plop down money to look at foolishness. For you to just run a rampant, uh, try to get somebody together real shady like, and they're supposed to pay you a million plus. No, that's not what it's looking like. And Bravo definitely has cut back on all of their OGs and the money that they initially paid out to them. They're finding it that it's not really necessary. Either you're going to do what they want you to do for the set amount of money or they're gonna find somebody else because you should have been paying off your house when you were making all those monies instead of developing all these swag stores all of this other shit you was doing out there god knows i don't know what you should have been making sure that house was paid for and you have enough money to pay those quarterly or yearly taxes that was going to come on that house expense. And if you didn't want to do that, you should have still brought real estate. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you should, instead of you being so prideful and think you know everything, you should have had a conversation or a dinner or brainstorm type thinking with Candy. She probably could have helped you build your portfolio where you don't have to get out here and be doing this and doing that because right now from what i see you're getting pity gigs pity party gigs where they feel for you and they probably feel for you more so because they know you don't have your husband anymore and he used to be like your financial guru or your person that took care of everything or on a down low your manager okay and now you don't know how to do anything but i know one thing 
quiet as it's kept and a lot of times i'm gonna speak it out that money that you do have from that house sale you better be keeping it instead of uh trying to put it on him that new boyfriend you got or that young dude you you call yourself being with because september is rolling around baby and that time limit of us taking pity on you and we're not gonna like say what we want to say for us that do have youtube channels to try to get you correctly you got damn near what 55 i'm 54 so i know you got me 54 55 56 it ain't no time it's no more time for playing you need to get stuff that's secure for your old age honey you ain't got that much you know uh thinking time and making money time you these years you should be winding down thinking about what you want when do you want to retire period you see what i'm saying so but again comparing yourself to other actors and other actresses and you're trying to demand a certain amount of money is completely utterly foolish you made your way through reality tv and that's about it and the people that can help you like kevin hart angela bassett i, I forgot her name uh and him and it's probably countless other people as well could have helped you but they see you as a troublemaker they see you as a death sentence to their own career if they try to pull you into their circle and try to get you work it's i'm sure it's a known thing you don't do certain things in hollywood with the big people and thinking they're gonna let you work in any form of facet on television either you got to pay them to do some things or you got to do something they want you to do and you better not be telling everybody about it or really telling nobody it's like joining a sorority or a fraternity certain things you just don't say you certain things you don't even talk about you know and to me that's like you know people taking too much of uh what do you call it taking away your right to think i, I never liked the organizations like that and i was you know uh i was trying to join a sorority at one time and they told me i talk I, they said you you ask too many questions and uh, i don't know if you're gonna be a fit unless you can not ask any questions and <laughs> it was uh it was delta i was trying to uh what you call it from auburn university delta i was trying to <laughs> play it. but that's another whole story and i like you right baby because i've been told everything if i don't like it and i feel it's it's, it's, it's gonna be detriment to the human race no i can't get with it i can't i don't have no no secrets from the lord so why i gotta have secrets with a sorority i can't do it because from what i understand anything that's kept secret it kept in the door it's gonna come to light okay and i want my hands clean so they professionally decline me <laughs> but that's what makes me me you see what i'm saying i'm not a follower i'm more of a leader i'm a thinker and i ask questions you know what i'm saying that's the shit don't don't add up right or sound right i go for the meat and potatoes i want to know why certain things operate a certain way why certain people do a certain thing you know in a certain area and you know sometimes people just don't have a response for you because you're asking all the wrong questions okay instead of being quiet but y'all that's all i got on uh on this nene with uh this video with nene leaks and why i don't feel she's successful and i'm thinking because she don't deserve it she wants everything given to her and she don't want to do the work and i could respect her more if she was true to her acting she actually went out there and got you know coaching from a real good coaching acting co uh, coach or if she wanted to be in um say have her own talk show then play your part don't be up here cussing out network people in, in, in the public eye and trying to tell trade secrets and shit and what's going on behind closed doors that's the wrong way to do business they're gonna always pass you up and you could be darn good for whatever you're trying to do as far as having a talk show or a platform where you're talking about celebrities and this that and the third something like the view well not the view but like the real the tamarind hall show this that but you gotta have some type of report to yourself you know what i'm saying you gotta have some type of journalistic type of skills of knowing what 
uh, questions to ask, how to ask them, and how to maneuver and navigate to get them to say things that you need them to say throughout that interview. See, that's a that's an art form, and it doesn't seem like you knew anything about that. You were just really straight, ghetto with it, and you know that's pretty much how Tamar came off of the real, I believe it was, because they felt she was too uh, urban, I guess. But to me, that I don't think they should have got rid of Tamar because every walks of life need every different type of culture um, shown and and celebrated and we needed someone from a younger generation to speak out on what they find is true you know depending on that type of generational gap but child Nene needs to sit her ass down and just get ready to retire it's pretty much and if she really want to keep that lounge or if it's a lounge that she's definitely doing with Brent uh, 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 we call it a co-ownership thing he's young enough to try to make it work he should be trying to hustle if that's what he really wanted to do because at one time I think you had said or was trying to announce that he wanted to be a comedian and I'm like oh lord everybody want to make people laugh and don't have the skills to do so oh child how dreadful <laughs> in my white voice but y'all that's all i got for this video hopefully y'all like it love it and kind of understand where i'm going with it i ain't trying to dog nene uh, i really want her to do well but this pity party she got going on is it, it's irritating the hell out of me you know what i'm saying like make shit happen you said you was that chick you said you was that woman then start walking on water you know what i'm saying show and prove stop begging these folks i him. if they won't give you their way you make a way you know what I'm saying? You said you was a God-fearing woman. You know the Lord. Then do something on your own. Because I'm sure you got some revenue. And where's your sisters of excellence or something you had with these other women? Uh, you were talking about on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Where, where them folks at? Can't they help you out? Can't they set you somewhere? Y'all supposed to have these connections. Uh, women of excellence. They supposed to have, it's kind of built like a sorority thing. Where are your sisters now, child? Where are your sisters now? All right. That's what I'm saying. You go around here and you get in these cliques and big circles and you think all these folks are friends. Once you do something wrong, you boot it out. They don't forget about you. They don't close you off. You no longer need to be thought about, talked about, or anything. They're going to they gonna make you look like you never existed. Okay, and is that happening to you, Nene? If that is happening to you or something you started, girl, you need to take a look at yourself and not everybody else. Because Hollywood is not for the faint and hard. Some people go in and they don't come out. Just like you go into the army. You go in kind of half straight. You come out all scatterbranded. Got PSD and any other disorder going on. Because you don't saw too many things. Some things don't happen to you over there. It's just a mess. So, the only thing I keep saying, I'm going to say it loud as I can, Zeus Network, baby. Zeus Network. But then I think they need you to learn how to act. Maybe that's why you hadn't went over to Zeus. Because they need you to remember lines. They need you to know your lines and be able to recite them at will. Okay? So, Nene, did we just really break the crack? Did we just break the center of why? You so gun ho on staying in reality TV because you don't want to do the work that a real actor and actresses do out there. You just want to float through it. You can't float through no more, Nene. Or go get an everyday job, something professionally. You know, <laughs> go do something. Okay, start your temp service and put people to work on different uh, platforms. You know, do something. You still got life in you. This may not be the Hollywood life or do make your event um, for the rich and famous. Start you an event company where you have, uh, they hire you to come do certain jobs. I mean, everybody can't stay in Hollywood and do what they normally would do that make them famous. You got to do other things. But that's all I have for this video. Cheers to each and every one of you all that come over here to the family. Subscribe to the new channel and um letting us grow and um hopefully y'all can get some golden nuggets out of my commentary okay and i'll see y'all next video bye bye